Alright, what's going on guys? It's Allman. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Just note to self, this is pre-recorded. This is from Season 4, so if it does come out like Season 5, midway through Season 5, I don't know this video is coming out. But, um, yeah, just, just remember this is from Season 4. So, yeah. Um, today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Striker 45. I got it all done with Masteries. Like, I got all the calling cards done, emblems done. i uh, just been grinding a lot. I've been trying to get all my stuff done for SMGs. I basically have them all done. I just have to record the videos and just show them off. So if you do like this type of content, don't forget to leave a like on it, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully you can reach 320 subs and you'll grow as a YouTube channel, but uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, make sure you do leave a like and comment. But 70% uh, of you are subscribed. Those are the loyal ones. I don't know what the rest of you guys are doing. So make sure you do subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. But yeah, now let's get into these master challenges. You know, if you do want to see these and everything like that. Um, the actual emblems and calling cards will be shown towards the end. But the challenges will go in depth slowly but surely throughout the video. So yeah, let's get to a striker 45. I don't even have it equipped at the moment. So let's equip it real quick. I uh, got two different variations, I think, or the base variation. And then obviously the Undertaker variant. So from season two. So this is crazy. This gun's been here since season two. It's basically the Ump 45. Uh, it's actually pretty. This is actually a really good gun for when it comes down to hardcore and stuff like that. It's actually a gun that I would recommend to use in hardcore if you just want to go ham on hardcore. This is 100% what I would recommend. So the class setup I usually run is um, for me personally. This is this is probably variation. I did drop a nuke with this. I still I have the gameplay on my Xbox. I just haven't been able to record that video. So um, who knows when that video is actually going to come out? But uh, 45 round mag. I usually run sleight of hand it's just i gotta run it on an smg i don't really rock a laser i run the 400 uh, mm stainless steel barrel it's a, it says like it ruins your ads speed but honestly i don't see the difference i really don't see the difference under barrel i usually run commando for grip but uh sometimes i run merc for grip just because of extra hit fire accuracy and the recoil the recoil is non-existent on here so you guys don't need to worry about the recoil but commando for grip is just what i feel more confident with and then rear grip i run um the f tag g5 xo because i got the sprint to fire so if you look at my stats they're basically like almost all like a straight line and that's crazy so th this is actually a really good gun and i would 100 percent recommend to use this in like hardcore this i think some people actually even use this in warzone just because of how good it is i think it's this has to be a really good smg i think it's like top tier but um i don't think they, this gun needs a buff or anything from what i know from my experience with this gun and how i dropped a nuke with it i think it's perfect how it is it doesn't need to be nerfed it doesn't need to be buffed because right now people rock the mp5 mp7 way more than the striker 45 so i don't think this needs a buff i think people don't like this gun because of the fire rate but honestly i don't i don't see it if when you're playing in hardcore it just shreds but yeah, so that's the class setup and everything like that. Now let's get into the challenges. Oh, but basically I always forget. I always got to talk about this. I always rock EOD. I feel like some people forget. I usually rock the same three attachments, same secondary, same C4. This is just basically my class setup for hardcore always. But if it's like for core, all I do is switch out overkill and put ghost instead. That's all I really do. But uh, now let's get into the challenges. So first one's up is 500 kills. Not too bad. You get your cool calling card and everything like that. Striker 45. Um doesn't look good uh, but you have to unlock it to get the next one and the next one obviously the damascus one you get 2000 kills pretty straightforward um it just takes time I, there's not really like there's no way you can just instantly just rush this and get 2000 kills and like like within like five seconds nah you just it just gotta take time it's gonna take you roughly like if you think about it, if you drop 100 kills a match right it's gonna take you 20 matches and that's not bad so i can i can drop Specifically with this gun, you can easily drop 100 kills on shipment. So that's what I would recommend. Probably, it shouldn't take that long. You can probably get all these done in like a day. Probably takes a day to do one gun. But even less than that. It depends on how much, how much you play and everything like that. You can get good lobbies over and over. But just give it time. You'll finish these challenges like nothing. Same thing with the headshots. I finished, got 250 headshots. Uh, platinum calling card. Not too bad. And then the obsidian one, I haven't even touched. I only have 12 because uh, I haven't used this gun in a cool minute. Uh, just because I've been recording videos for all my other guns. I've been getting obsidian and everything like that. Uh, I think I have to record an AUG video still. And I still have to record my vector. And then basically all my SMGs are done. But I've just been recording these mastery challenges just because. But yeah. Uh, obsidian ones just haven't. The only one I don't go for is, is obsidian. Just because how many headshots it takes. But is what it is. Uh, when it comes down to emblems, I got 50 kills with the ADS with the laser attachment. So if we go back to the class setup, what I would recommend is probably just take off the Commando Vore Grip and just rocking um, this TAC laser instead. 
honestly run the attack lasers because this thing is just getting pure buffs right here if you look at it not getting no nerfs you can probably if you want you can switch to a five milliwatt laser maybe like a hit fire it's up to you guys but i think the attack laser just comes in clutch but um that's up to you guys so that, that's the class setup i would recommend for doing this first one which is the golden emblem for the strike 45 not too bad pretty straightforward uh next one 50 kills while sliding uh this one's just gonna be taking time you guys can't aim while you're sliding at all so you just pre hit fires uh what i would recommend is just um Honestly, since you're just gonna be hit firing while sliding and everything like that, probably just take off the sleight of hand, put on a Mercure grip, change your laser to a uh, five milliwatt laser, basically straight up. And then you just hit fire is like, on this is perfect too. Like this gun is just overall good. Like I don't know, I'm gassing it up too much, but I think just hit fire, recoil control, everything just clean. But that's the class setup I would recommend. But just always keep that 500 milliwatt stainless steel barrel. It's like much needed on this. If you take this off and put something else, the gun's just gonna turn to shit. Like I wouldn't recommend it. And you don't really need high mobility on this gun at all. It's just clean. But I mean, you can try this for 150 mm stainless steel, but I wouldn't recommend it. 400 mm is just perfect for this gun. But that's the class setup I would recommend for the second one, uh, for the platinum emblem. So the thing is, you have to go in order. So you can't just go straight to obsidian. It's just gonna take time. Uh, just give it time. You'll get there, guys. You'll get there. Just push through. But uh, next one, get 25 kills while on smoke. Just rock a smoke. Um, you can run a thermal hybrid, like I always recommend. So maybe take off the Merc 4 grip, take off the laser, put on slide of hand, and basically put on a, a thermal hybrid. Just in case. So you can just see the smoke, uh, see through the smoke, and just pretty pretty easy and finish the challenge straight up. And you guys will get your Damascus emblem. Uh, look all decent and stuff like that. Strike a 45. Just clean with it but uh that's the easy one now it's the hard part as i always talk about in all my videos getting three attachments with five headshot kills while sliding um these are just kind of annoying uh just because you got to run you basically it forces you to run certain attachments so you can only run three attachments so basically what i would probably recommend is just running the hip fire one for the under barrel and then run oh hip fire yeah the hip fire one which is mark four grip these are only three attachments I could probably recommend to you because honestly you do need this barrel no matter what and that's basically all you can do. You just gotta hit fire while you're sliding and you'll finish those challenges like nothing. It's only five kills but at the same time it's headshots and sliding and it's just by chance and it's just annoying. I think that's the only no annoying thing about it. It's just by chance. You can't really force your bullet to go right towards their head. But I mean the hit fire shouldn't even the hit fire spread shouldn't even be that bad since you're running two attachments that give hit fire accuracy, so it should be pretty clean. So now let's get into the emblems and calling cards and see how they look. Because I do have I actually have them equipped at the moment just for this video. This will probably come out when season five is here. So I don't know when this video is gonna put come out though. But at the moment season four. Obviously I finished the battle pass like a week into the battle pass. But um yeah, so like I got four days left at the time I'm recording this. But uh, let's go to our challenges now, our identity calling cards. So I usually just have them equipped before the before I record the video just because it's so easy to find instead of me just searching midway through the video. But yeah, here's the gold one. Eh, I wouldn't really rock it, it's up to you guys. But uh, you probably can rock them in order, but it's not much of a flex. Then we have platinum. Um, not really liking it. I think the Damascus one is just clean with it. But yeah, that's the Damascus one. Uh, go to back to our emblems now. We got gold. Um, still wouldn't recommend it. I think the only good ones, I think you really shouldn't be rocking the gold or the platinum ones. Just because it's, they're not really that good. Uh, I really wish that they could be way better. But is what it is. Then we have the Damascus one. You just got to match them. I feel like if you're matching them, then it actually looks pretty decent. But is what it is. But uh, yeah. And then we also have the obsidian one at the end. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, I always say the same shit over and over, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed me going over the challenges. And if you needed help with the Striker 45 or anything like that, easy maps to do it on a shipment shoot house, as always. Uh, just gonna give just take your time with them, honestly. You can rush this as best as you can, but it's still gonna take time. Uh, shipment's just the best way because you can drop so many kills 100 plus kills, as always. And I'll, I'll be sure, I always forget, I, I'll be sure to drop that nuke video with the Striker 45. I just haven't had a chance, but down the line, I'll for sure drop it. And uh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.